Well, here in the Commonwealth, every November brings elections that make an impact at the state and the national level. And with less than two weeks to election day, campaigns are kicking into high gear. But no run for office would be successful without a great team of volunteers. Hi, is Carolyn available? Hi, Jonathan. This is Sarah. How are you doing today? All politics is local, so I'm starting at the local level to do my best. It's a, a wonderful time to volunteer. I mean, this is an exciting time. It's an important election. And volunteers on both sides are stepping up to do their part as Election Day draws near. From making phone calls to writing letters and postcards, there's a feeling that there is so much on the line Tuesday, November 5th. Everybody I talk to seems, hopefully, sees the energy and the excitement I have about it, the, what's going on, the issues, that, that that's enough to really motivate them to, to join us as well. But what may be the most important job of reminding people to get out and vote is going door to door. Michael, mm -hmm. okay, I'm Michael, I'm Leon. Nice to meet you. Um, I, work, I work with the Richmond City GOP. Richmond City GOP okay. Chairman Leon Benjamin says volunteers who can have a face-to-face -face conversation yeah. can make the difference. Of course, the candidate's face is always the best face, but if they can see a face that says, here, this is a person that we think you ought to take a look at, this is what he stands for, here's some literature, and ask for the vote. Um, we, we always got to ask for the vote. <laughs> With all 140 state and House Senate seats on the ballot in an election year that has no presidential or statewide race, this is what's considered to be an off-off year. But don't tell that to the candidates. It really doesn't feel like an off-off year. Uh, we know how critical this particular race is, this campaign year of 2019. But I've come to see that in these off-off years, they really do have an outsized impact on the lives of the people in this community because they're the local election. There, there'll be the people representing them. So, hope you have a great day. For those running, having a staff that can help drive turnout is key. All volunteers started coming in in the spring, so that was really nice. We had them consistently throughout the summer. And for example, if you're going to do 10,000 volunteer postcards, uh, you can't start that three weeks out. For this Senate district, this is the first time that we've actually had paid um, organizers across the district. So we're really excited about that. But it's not just about the paid staff, it's about the entire momentum that's been building. 